So, what are the trigonometric ratios? Um, I want you to memorize this word here, and it's called SOCATOA. Okay? The trigonometric ratios is this observation that the um, uh, ancient mathematicians had is that there was a relationship between the angles and the sides of right triangles. Now, let me, let me show you what they were saying. Now, SOCATOA, right, is basically this. The large S is called the sine of an angle. And that's equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. All right, so we're just going to say sine of just some angle. And they, they use this symbol here. It's called theta. It's just for any angle, right? So the sine of any angle would be equal to the opposite side of the triangle over the hypotenuse of the triangle. Okay? And it's called the sine. Now, there's something called the cosine as well. And again, we'll just say the cosine of any angle would be equal to, according to this, the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And then finally, the T stands for something called the tangent. So tangent theta is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. Now, let me work a problem so you can see exactly what these three... Uh, trigonometric ratios or trig ratios mean, okay? Now, in a right triangle, we know that we had a 90 degree angle, right? That was a given because you have to have a, these can only work with 90 degree angles or with right triangles. If you happen to know the other, one of the other two angles, like for example, this one was given as 60, we know then therefore that this angle has to be 30 because one of the properties of all triangles is that the internal angles all equal 180 degrees, right? So according to this, we can figure out these sides simply by saying the sine of 90 of, of just take any of these angles. Let's just take 60 degrees. So we'll say the sine, and we don't normally put the E in there. So we'll say the sine of 60 degrees will be equal to the, in this case, the opposite side, so we'll call this little b, over the hypotenuse side, which we'll call this one little c, okay? So we'll just say this length over this length, b over c. We'll need one more piece of information in order to do this. So in this case, let's just say that we know that b is equal to, let's go with 4. Okay, a length of 4. And let's say we didn't know anything else other than just the angles. We didn't know this length, and we didn't know this length. And we can't even draw the geometric mean here. We can't use the Pythagorean theorem here, so let's see if we can use a trig ratio. So we know that the sine of 60 degrees would be equal to 4 over C. Okay, so let's fill that in. Now, what is the sine of 60 degrees? To do that, you just go to your calculator. And you'll notice on your calculator there is a button. It's called sine. All right? So you press, you punch in 60, or sine, rather, excuse me. So you'd say sine 60 degrees, and then you'd press enter. And you get 0.866. Now, that's going to be true no matter what right triangle you have. This could be, you know, 45 degrees. This could be 30 degrees. It could be 22 degrees. It could be 1 degree. But that the sign of whatever that degree is will always equal some kind of a constant number. So now we know that the sign of 60 degrees is 0. 0.866. And that's equal to 4 
divided by c. Now you just use your algebra and let's just solve for c. So I'll be my step one, my step two, my step three is we'll just multiply both sides by c and you get c times 0.8 6, 6. If you multiply that by C, those cross out, and you get 4. Let's divide now by 0. 0.866. So you get C is equal to 4 divided by 0. 0.866. Let's just try that real quickly. 4 divided by 0. 0.866, and that's equal to... 4.619. And we'll just say 4.62. Okay, so now we know that C is equal to 4.62. And now look what we can do. We can actually use the Pythagorean theorem again and say that this side, which is little a, plus this side, which is 4 squared, will be equal to C, which is 4.62 quantity squared. Okay, just simply by using a trig ratio and by knowing what the angles were inside. And you can do that with any of these angles. Okay. Now, that was quite a bit of information. Um, basically, just remember that the... Idea behind this whole video is that there are relationships that exist between the sides of right triangles and the angles of right triangles. And you can find the sides of right triangles by using the Pythagorean theorem with certain pieces of information, or you can use the geometric mean to find the sides of the right triangle, right? If you have certain type, other types of information, or you can use trig ratios to find the sides of right triangles using certain kinds of information, right? And you have to decide which one of these three methods is the best way to go depending on the information that you do have. Now in part two, what we'll do is I'll show you how to figure out what the angles are if you know what the sides are, okay? I know that was quite a long video. I hope that was helpful.